Whiskey Broadcast, Black Sheep Network. Kodiak hanging out at the board. December is here, and our thoughts drift backwards in time to our childhood. Those of us who experienced Christmas time in our childhood, and all the songs, the old songs come moving through. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire, dreaming of a white Christmas, yeah, walking in a winter wonderland. And you walk around town and you can't help but start humming them, start singing them. And you go home and you want to play them. And uh, some of them, well, some of them have been around a while and some people are sick of them, but if there's one that's your favorite, you, you play it. and you, you love it, and you embrace it, and you play it over and over again because it makes you feel good. And it's unfortunate that sometimes it makes the people who are with you, around you, feel bad. But what are you to do when you have a favorite holiday tune? I've had a favorite Christmas carol for a while now. No, my wife is not happy about it. No, she doesn't like to hear it over and over again, but it's a classic. Sure, I sing it. Sure, I play it. Why not? It makes me feel good. Why is she in a hotel tonight? You tell me. Here's the tune. I just love that song. And, um been playing it a lot, mostly in the mornings, afternoons, and, and in the evening. And uh, I sing along with it often. And uh, we have a little speaker system that is outside our home, too, because we have the whole Santa sleigh thing set up. The kids love it. And so we have that going on a loop out in the front yard. And that's kind of nice. can't get sick of that tune. You can't, well, my wife did, but um, I don't know, there may have been some childhood trauma associated with it, and it's not the song itself, it's what happened around the song. That that can be the case often. Because there's nothing in, in the song, when you listen to it, that should trigger that kind of response, really. I'm not sick of it yet. Some people want to shoot those singers. I don't. I don't want to hunt them down like dogs and kill them. That's not what I'm about. That's not, that's not what this season is all about. We're supposed to fight that at this time of year. And yet, it, for some, it's hard. You sick of it at all? And yet, hey, thanks for listening, folks, and have yourselves a, a good night. Bon night. KSTP, good old St. Paul, in big time Minneapolis. Sleep well. From ABC News, I'm Paul James. An opposition group near Jalalabad, Afghanistan, with money from the CIA, has convinced about a thousand fighters to head into the Tora Bora Mountains to search for Osama bin Laden. We're following every every hint, every lead, every uh, every possibility.